connections. It's 30 degrees here in Galena, Illinois. Brr. It is, we're an hour behind you there in Tallahassee. So I'm trying to get this uploaded for you today. Going to be a, a short devotional. Promised to shoot more video. Did not get a, any video of our travels. I'm a terrible vlogger. But do hope that all is well. Um, miss you all and looking forward to being back this Sunday. But a lot of ground to cover until then. We are spending the day here in Galena and heading on to Chicago this evening. So uh, let's get started with today's lesson. If you recall, we are going through the, the book of Job for the next few Sundays. And in parallel, we're looking at what the New Testament has to say about enduring difficulty, the same types of difficulty that we find Job having to walk through. So this week we are spending our time in 1 Peter. 1 Peter 1, 14. So you must live as God's obedient children. Don't slip back into your old ways of living to satisfy your own desires. You didn't know any better then, but now you must be holy in everything you do, just as God who chose you is holy. For the scripture says you must be holy because I am holy. And remember that the heavenly father to whom you pray has no favorites. He will judge or reward you according to what you do. So you must live in reverent fear of him during your time here as temporary residents. For you know that God paid a ransom to save you from the empty life you inherited from your ancestors. And it was not paid with mere gold or silver, which lose their value. It was the precious blood of Christ, the sinless, spotless lamb. So we've spoken of it many times. If you are looking truly for God to, to be a part of your life, if you truly are looking to, to live by his standards and in his ways, then your life should look that way. Oftentimes when we come to a, a, a difficult time in our life, we hang up our faith in order for us to navigate as we've always navigated before. And that's where many of us make a mistake. When navigating through the things that uh, come against us, that is when faith is most important. And that is where we discover the value of faith, the value of a relationship with God. I love this part in here where it talks about no favoritism. I love that, that God is uh, a God that sees all of us as his children. I love that that we are judged on, on how well we navigate. And finally, I think it is important for us to recognize, and we've spoken of this over the last few weeks, the importance to recognize the value of salvation. That we are very connected to the things of the world and very can tell you the value of of, of homes value of uh, quality of life value of of all the different things that uh, you know, we are told are are very valuable from diamonds to maseratis none of that compares to the value of what jesus accomplished for us on the cross and until we develop that mindset of the tremendous sacrifice that Jesus has made for us, it's hard for us to wrap our head around it. If we truly understood how much was paid for our salvation, would our actions demonstrate it? We are called to live as those that have received salvation, those that, that have been transformed. We are called to be the ambassadors of Christ and our lives should reflect that. 
And the only way to truly get to that point is to begin to have a better understanding of just how much the price was paid. How much that cost. All right. Promise to have more from Galena. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord, for this opportunity to continue to, to come together. We thank you, Lord, for going ahead of us in all of our trials and tribulations we might face today, tomorrow. As part of living through this broken world, Lord, it's part of the growth that can be achieved while living through this broken world. Thank you, Lord, for today's reminder that we are only temporary residents here. And you'll call us to live to the highest of standards so that others might see and choose to follow. We ask you, Lord, that you would continue to bless us as we seek to bless and love others. And be with us as we're apart. And let's celebrate our homecoming. We thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, I'll see you from, well, we'll probably shoot a, a little bit of Galena video for you. I'll get the stuff off the front porch here for you this morning. But uh, Galena's a really neat town. Um, got a chance to see just a little bit as we went to dinner last night. But share a little bit of that with you tomorrow and then on to Chicago. I love you. I miss you. Looking forward to seeing you very soon. Until then, be good. <laughs>《Good Morning Connections》It is 30 degrees here in Galena. Good morning, Connections. It's 30 degrees here in Galena. Galena, Illinois. I'm on the front porch of uh, a, uh, the bed and breakfast, not an Airbnb. Uh, old school. Uh, just on my shoulder is my sister's home, kind of cool, but uh, I found...